Jonathan Schwartz, the CEO of Sun, resigned today publicly by announcing it over Twitter. And he didn't just announce it over Twitter, which would be an unusual enough way to tell the world that your reign is over, but he did it in a haiku. So a haiku embedded in a Twitter, sent it out to all of his followers, and that's how everyone knew that today was his last day at, at Sun. Jonathan Schwartz has been at Sun for a long time. He was Scott McNeely's uh, right-hand man and when Scott was building up Sun. When uh, Scott stepped down, Jonathan took over and uh, really tried to convert the company into an open source friendly company, uh, tried to push it in a much more open way. You can see by his Twitter handle, Open Jonathan, is, was his big belief. Sun was acquired by Oracle, and Larry Ellison made it very clear that Jonathan Schwartz wasn't invited to stick around for the next uh, iteration of the company. Almost every Silicon Valley company is interesting in its own way. Oracle is particularly interesting. You've got Larry Ellison, a massive ego, the size of his massive yacht. He's made some big bets about the future of Silicon Valley. He always loves to say things that really drive other Silicon Valley CEOs crazy. It's one of the ways he's built himself up. You've got Chuck Phillips, one of his number twos, who's just been uh, entangled in a crazy thing with, uh, allegedly with a, a mistress, where she had bought billboards with her picture and with Chuck's picture declaring their love for each other. Very public way to expose someone as having an affair. Um, and then you've got Jonathan Schwartz resigning with a haiku. I mean, it's just one weird thing after another going on at Oracle. But, you know, Larry Ellison has never had a problem keeping his company in the public eye. This is a database company. There's no reason it should be in the public eye, but he is a master at doing it. I don't think he cre created this, but my guess is he's not too upset about the way that uh, Jonathan Schwartz is going out either. I've been reading some of the blog comments and people aren't really thrilled with this way of leaving. People weren't thrilled with Jonathan anyway, so it's not like he had built up a reservoir of goodwill among the employees. They watched the value of the company tank while they were there. And the strategies he employed at Sun didn't end up paying off. And then to leave with the haiku, I don't know. It just seems like there might be uh, some more tasteful ways to go out.